You and me stuck in a lifelong conversation A story with no start, no end I try to keep away, remain a long time distance But always get me in the end Irrational thoughts Why are you coming back to my door When there's no room for you I know I buried you long ago I've actually reached 4.1 gigahertz and uh, basically I changed the motherboard over from the MSI's B350 Carbon Pro or Gaming Pro Carbon and I've put in a uh, Gigabyte Aurorus and that is a Gaming 5 motherboard and it's X370 basically it's the same CPU changed the water cooling around so I've gone from the pure water and I've used the white pastel mixed up the colours to match up the pure base 600 by Be Quiet and the Dark Pro well I've actually downloaded I've gone down a power supply instead of going from the 850 watt I've gone to 750 watts this system is overclocked I thought I'll just do this video though because because it's on a stability uh, test run at the moment. Um, I haven't even updated the BIOS. The BIOS is from February of this motherboard, so I need to update all the drivers and everything like that. And also, I've got Be Quiet 120 PWM fan there, and I've got two on the front there. I've got none for exhausting heat, or I'm not on the VRMs or the choke at all. And basically, I've run a silly bench, and it didn't crash like it kept doing all the time, or even when it got to Windows, it would just crash. Or sometimes I was lucky, I could have it on there for like five seconds on the Windows screen, and then, it will just crash and then it will go to a black screen or a blue screen. This time around, 4.1, no problems whatsoever. All cores are switched on and I proved it because I've got my game capture on and everything's going live and I can't move my mouse properly. So as you can see, uh, six cores, 12 threads, GeForce GTX 970, 111 at 73 frames per second. CPU's at 12, 98C 
B, but as you can see, you can't see. But anyway, there is, this is where the 1700 would be. That's where the 1800X would be, Ryzen 7. So what I'm gonna do is run this test again. I've been running a, stab a stability test already. Right, so that's been running for 10 minutes. So that's definitely a pass. Now I'm gonna just press stop. Now I'm gonna run the test again. And fingers crossed that it still goes around without crashing. That'd be awesome. Because this is, it normally crashes way before then, or it could crash at any time, but there you go. It crashed. But you could see before it was on the actual game capture card, which I'm going to have to stop there. It actually did make it. It, it. it ran all right and stuff. But inside the system, it is quite actually quite hot in here. It's like really hot. So... I'm going to have to do a um, BIOS update and then I'll come back and see if it's made any difference. But yeah, I'm a bit gutted now. <laughs> so I'm a little disappointed with this motherboard. Um, done the build and everything like this. This is kind of the test when I was actually speaking to you earlier. And I've tried to overclock, tried to overclock. But even past that, every time the board goes to restart from the BIOS, even up after I've updated the BIOS, it's still doing the same thing. So if I go to reset now, it gets stuck on 62, which means even from the BIOS and I go to restart it or whatever, it just hangs on number 62, which is, at the moment, it's okay, it's fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boot into the BIOS and then I'm gonna see if it works now again. So I'm gonna take my overclock down so you can see, so I, can, I know it runs at uh, four gigahertz. Uh, where is it? So my frequency runs on four point oh. Oh, what am I doing? Four two. Right, so I'm at four gigahertz clock and then I'm gonna change my voltage down. Where's my voltage gone? Okay. So I change my my voltage from one three seven five. Actually, one point three seven five. It's not even proper. This is anyway. Uh, put it stuck down to auto and let everything take care of itself. And then I'm going to go to save configuration. Right now, I should be able to boot straight into Windows. And normally it gets stuck on 62. There we go. Uh, no, it's working. It's working. Okay. Weren't working before. Now it's working. All right. Now I'm going to restart the computer after it's booted up and then we're going to check it out. But yeah, it keeps sticking on 62, which is an error code. And it reseated the graphics card, reseated the memory, and everything still does exactly the same. So. At the moment, are we gonna get a, video, um, a screen? Right, so we've got a screen. Now I'm gonna go to restart. No, computer's crashed, okay. Oh, well, this is pretty bad, why would it crash? Just been testing it, you saw me hit 4.1 gigahertz when I didn't even update the computer or anything like that. And now it's happening, so let's see if it goes through to the BIOS. So it's on 62, and it hasn't gone back to the BIOS. So this is what's happening. So I'm gonna hit the reset switch. Let's see if it goes into the BIOS now. Right, so we're back into the BIOS. It's making me look stupid, this thing is. So Voltage. Let's take the course down more. Um, three. Let's do thirty-nine. Oh, thirty-nine. All right, three point nine gigahertz. Save and exit. Right, I should be able to go into Windows without it hitting on 62. And there it is, 62. 
I weren't lying. <laughs> See, why is it hanging on 62 when it should go straight into there? So I'll give it a three more seconds so you can see what I'm talking about. Now I'm going to press the reset button. Sixty-two again. So constantly sixty-two is what was happening. So oh, if I go to this again, it should work. Sixty-two, once again. So this motherboard is definitely faulty and has to be going back. All my components were all kind of warm anyway. It had a readout of like stupid amount of degrees. Yeah, it overclocked to 4.1 gigahertz. And then I put an update to BIOS. All my degrees went down to 29 degrees on the clock. And that was clocked at 4 gigahertz. And then 4.1 gigahertz. Don't really know because it just kept doing this and I'm quite, quite annoyed now. So I'm going to reset again. Hopefully it will boot into Windows. But this motherboard's going back. I think I'm going to go with a different um, motherboard solution. 62 again. So constantly 62. Reset. Sixty-two again. All right, reset. Sixty-two again. Oh my god. Let's press it again. This is quite annoying. What was this like? This? Oh, there we go. Now it's working. So this motherboard's clearly faulty. So uh, it's going to go back. Anyway, if you like this review, well, well, whatever rant I should say, it was happiness, and now it's not happiness. Leave a thumbs up, if not, dislike it, leave a comment down below and uh, I'll come back with another video because I'm still going to try and hit that 4.1 uh, overclock, even 4.2. I'm going to just, I'm going to go to nitrogen soon because uh, this is what's annoying me. I just can't fulfill what I want to do, but I want to try and fulfill it on water rather than doing nitrogen because not everyone's got nitrogen and it's kind of dangerous. Water's okay, still dangerous with electrical uh, components, but it's tried and tested, so anyway. Um, share this video, follow me on all social media platforms, there's um, links in the description down below for affiliate links with overclockers and Amazon if you want to buy anything, helps the channel grow as I said before and uh, more tutorials and more um, builds and more this and more that to come. See you next one, thanks for watching. Oh